welcome back to the Academic Society. It's Toyin, and today I'm sharing another little facet of my life as an academic. Today I'm going to be sharing what I take to classes with me every single day. So this video is all about what's in my teaching bag. So this, this is my teaching bag. Fun fact, I got it like two years ago um, at Old Navy. You know how they put like random clearance things right by the cash the cashiers and this was only five dollars so I got one and my sister got one and literally it's been holding strong it still looks pretty good it doesn't look dinged up after two years and it's only a five dollar bag so if I find something similar to this I will link it down in the description but yeah I really like it mostly because it is big wide and it opens pretty big as well so if it's like finals time and I have a bunch of tests stacked on each other, I can fit them all in this bag. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I'll share what's in my teaching bag. So first thing that I want to note is this teaching bag, I never take it home except today. So <laughs> yesterday I was like, okay, remember, take your teaching bag home because you want to do this video. But I completely forgot. I left it at school, and then after I, I did my I did trivia with my friends. After that, I went back to school to my office and picked up my teaching bag just so I could share it with you. So thumbs up for the dedication to go back to get this teaching bag. But anyway, I don't take this teaching bag home. I leave it in my office. It strictly has all of the things for my classes. There's one thing I take out every day, but that's it. It's just my keys. All right, so. Let's dig in. So the main thing in here are my folders. So I teach four classes, um, and it's not that bad. There are only 19 students in each class. I teach three sections of pre-calculus and one section of calculus one. And so I have two classes, one hour break, and then two classes. So I have a folder for each one of my classes, and so I just take the two that I need for the classes that I'm teaching back to back. Um, since calculus is my only different class, I haven't really labeled this folder, but inside I just have like things I need to say to my students, so this is stuff for the quiz, I have attendance sheets, I have the notes, all of those things, um, I have old quizzes, things that I need to hand back, I put all of that stuff in this one folder, so I have everything for this class together in one place. And so the other three classes are the same. They're pre-calculus and I could put all of them in the same folder, but I don't want to mix my students up. I have multiple students with the same name. It's good if I just keep everything separate. So I just put a one on here. I don't know if you can see that. I just put a one on this folder to say, this is my first pre-calculus class. There's a two here to say, this is my second pre-calculus class. And then three for my third. So yeah, I have my folders in my bag that have all of the things for each of my classes. All right, this is my little personal bag. So I have, I think I got this in a set of packing cubes, but I use it for my teaching bag. All right, so inside, I got this from like a grad school fair. So if you're in grad school, go to all the health fairs and stuff. Um, but in here, it just has like band-aids, antiseptic stuff, just in case. You never know what you need. So I have that. I also have um, some hand lotion, super important, because when I teach, I write on a document camera, so my writing is projected on the screen, which means my hands get projected on the screen. I don't wanna have, you know, ashy finger webs in here, so <laughs> I uh, keep the lotion. Also, hand sanitizer is a must, because your students will come to class sick. And so whenever I'm sick, or if my students are sick, I make sure I always use my hand sanitizer. And I also use hand sanitizer when I get from class every single day. Yes, it's important. Also, my sunglasses, they're usually just roaming around in my bag, um, but these I got from Francesca's. I really like these. I feel like they suit my face really well. And I have to walk outside of my building to go to my classes and it's really sunny, so sunglasses. And then finally, this is my lady bag. I have all my lady things in here. This is just an old Ipsy Glam bag. Keep that in here, secure. I can take it to the bathroom with me when I need it. All right, so next, this is the one thing that I take out of my teaching bag and take home with me every day. So I always have to check for this. I usually just take it out as soon as I get into my office because my keys are in here. All right, so this has my 
office key as well as my house key. I have left this at school once before, so that was no fun. Luckily, I have an office mate and he was able to let me in. Um, but I've only locked this into my office once, so that's pretty good in two years. Um, but yeah, I have like flash drive on here and my keys. I also threw in my car keys. I kind of keep those separately for some reason because sometimes I just need my car keys, sometimes I just need my house keys. All right, and then also my um, ID card. So sometimes I have to swipe to get into places. I also fill this card up with um, cash. So I get $10 taken out of my paycheck and put it on my card so I can get things out of the vending machine or like the little convenience stores on campus. Um, so that's helpful, helpful tip. And this um, little wallet thing, wristlet, my mom just got me recently. It's a coach bag, I think she got it from a coach outlet. If I can find it, I'll link it for you. It's really cute, handy, small. I also keep two calculators in my bag, so I am a math teacher. I teach pre-calculus and calculus, and in those classes, there's a mandatory calculator. It's this one, it's not that expensive, but many students come to college thinking that they need a graphing calculator, so they have a graphing, but then we don't allow it, because we teach graphing in our classes, so you don't need a graphing calculator if you can do the things in your calculator that I'm testing you on. Anyway. These are the calculators we allow and these only, and so sometimes students don't have them, so what I'll do is during a test or a quiz or something, I'll leave these two in the front, and when students get to a question that they feel that they need a calculator for, they can come get one of these and then immediately bring it back. So I have these. Also for me, whenever I'm working problems in class, in class I may need a calculator. Umbrella. Very important. Don't want to get caught in the rain on your way to or from class. I have learned that it is nice to keep a change of clothes or at least a change of shoes in your office. I actually keep rain boots in my office uh, for rainy days or those flooding days. So one day I did have my umbrella, I just did not have the right shoes and I had to go up some outside stairs and the water was just rushing down on like a waterfall. Literally, my my whole pant leg up to my knee was soaked, was wet. And so, yeah, I had to change. Look at it, I had like workout pants in my office, but I had to change. But anyway, umbrella, very important. It's compact, it gets small, fits in my bag. All right, so this is another Ipsy bag. You'll see a trend. So if you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a subscription like makeup service. So basically they send you like five small makeup items in these cute bags. So basically the bags are worth the $10 price because you get to keep them and use them for other things. But anyway, in this bag, I keep all of my pens. So as I mentioned, I write on a document camera. And so I like to use different colored pens for my notes, just so I can, you know, make things different colors, emphasize different things for my students. So yeah, I keep my pens in this bag. It just keeps them all in one place, so I'm not rummaging around looking for them every day. Right, and sometimes technology doesn't work. So here's another Ipsy bag. Gotta keep my markers, my Expo markers for the whiteboard. So some of my classrooms have whiteboards, some of them have chalkboards, and none of them have chalk or dry erase markers in the room. So you gotta bring your own. And so here are mine. I keep them in this bag, in my teaching bag, for when I need to write on the board, multiple colors, for the same reason that I mentioned before. Here's some chalk for my chalkboard rooms. I hate, hate, hate writing on chalkboards because I always wear like black bottoms or just black somewhere and I just hate getting chalk everywhere. Also, I'm not good at writing in chalk. Um, but I have some chalk just in case I need it for my classes. All right, and so that's pretty much all. The bag is basically empty except kind of some trash. Also like um, paper clips and like, I forgot what these are called, just clips for my papers so when I get papers back from my students, I can clip them or put a paper clip on them and keep them all nice and organized. All right, so that is what is in my teaching bag. So the bag that I take to all of my classes every single day, I do take a different bag to and from school. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what do you put in your teaching bag 
And is there anything that I missed that I should be putting in my teaching bag? All right, so everyone have a wonderful day. I will see you all next week. Bye.